Before we start this video, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Aspire. If you're planning to do your PLAP 2 and you need a very well-rounded course that can help you and guide you and give you a step-by-step -step guidance to get through the PLAP 2 exams comfortably and easily, look no further than Aspire. We from Dr. ZZ really recommend it. Uh, if you guys want to know more information about how to join the course and more about the course, please email us at drzizi at gmail.com and we'll guide you through it. Okay, so now let's get on to the video. That's one, two, four, five, six, then eight. So yeah, a lot of files basically. You can see them pile them all, all over here, right? Clap 2 is a serious exam, you know? Um, and at this point, like, make sure whenever you're coming here, you have to come with the mentality that, you know, you're going to give your 120%. That is the most important thing because there's so much material to absorb in. It's great if you have recently studied or you recently done PLAP 2, a lot of material is fresh because most of the most of the PLAP 1 material will be needed for PLAP 2. It's just in a different format. So it's very important to come here and uh, have a lot of time management. Uh, I would suggest if you guys can come here six weeks before your exams. Why do I say that? Is <clears throat> you need to have two, two weeks is gonna go for the course. So whatever course that you're gonna pick, it's gonna go for almost two weeks. That way after that you have four weeks to practice, prepare and really sharpen your knife the way they say, you know. And that is so important because as you can see there's so much material. If you have, some people come with, with, with a very short term and they pass. Yes, that is great. But uh, those are people who sometimes have good knowledge and they have good clinical skill. But some people, they don't have a lot of knowledge to start up with. So it takes time to, you know, study the theory material and go through all of them. I personally, you know, wanted to take, didn't take a risk, you know. I've come so far all the way from my country, spent so much money. So I don't, I just thought, why not just come six weeks earlier and actually do the exams? So that's what I'm doing. I mean, I've been studying for the, I finished, I came here like four weeks ago. And I think I have two more weeks for the exams to go. But at this point, I have completed a lot of, completed a lot of, uh, study material thanks to the time limit and thanks to the time limit I still have two more weeks to go so in this two weeks I don't have to like stress out as much I can go out a little bit I can still get to see the city a little bit and at the same time I can get to study and sharpen myself as well anyways I'm done with my breakfast let's go a beautiful day today compared to London when I came here first it was so dark and gloomy so it's nice to see that it's the sun's come out and it looks much more nicer than it usually looks so yep we're gonna continue it's kind of sad you know when the day is so nice I still can't like <laughs> enjoy it I have to go and study I have to keep up all right let's go so guess what guys we're actually gonna get started practicing and I decided to like do it with a couple of my friends he is Mr. Midnight Rain, that's what we call him, but he's really good and the rest of the people are here. Say hello guys. Hello. So she's, she's my new subscriber by the way. She yeah, just I found out, to him. She just found out my channel. We gotta go ahead and practice, so let's get to it. So actually, this guy is one of my subscribers. You're yeah, my subscriber, right? Yeah, yeah. So I have uh, I have been following Aziz since uh, my IELTS, and he's, it was quite useful for me. And I wish all the best for Aziz for his PLAP two, and hopefully he's gonna pass and post a new video for PLAP two. Give me a high five. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. We just practice for a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get some luncheon, and then we'll see. What more we can do? What's you going on, bro? What's going on? Okay, that's good. All right, so this is my boy Sohail. Hello. That's Joanna. Oh, and <laughs> and this is Gulshan. 
This girl, all the, all the way, she looks like you know Punjabi. She's from Dhaka. Singapore. <laughs> and, and no, no, the place in Dhaka. Is it? Gulshan is the name of a place in Dhaka, and the name, she was named after that. I so now, so now you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> Today's gonna be like a really long. So let's keep going, see what's happening. All right, let's go. All right, lunch time. We got some peri peri chicken, some fries. Everyone has got food. Some peri peri chip salt. That's the shit. You know that makes. That's the one which makes everything good. Look good. There you go, brother. Yeah. Did you take Put in there, put in there, put in there. <laughs> Before he's becoming a doctor, he's suing you, man. What a meal! What a meal! I'm so stuffed. But how are you doing, brother? Pounds. Bro, great to meet you. Okay, nice to, very nice to meet you. It's great, great are you, to meet you. Are you stuffed? No. You can still eat? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can see some bleeding, you can see lacerations probably. A lot of things can be you have to look at it and you have to visual. Okay? Uh, in some examinations we also go forward and check stress incontinence for which we can buy the vaginal ear here. And then what comes between the himself the moment he will give the examination. Actually, higher percentage than the whole patch. Our whole patch 75% of us didn't make it. 75% did not pass. 75%? Did not pass. Yeah. The, the pass rate in our batch was a bit lower than that. Okay. Are you from the same batch with Ahmed? Oh my god. It is, I think, almost 9.45. I've been here like for like so long, man. It's crazy. But uh, got a lot of work done. It's, it's good. Um, I'm happy and I feel that we've got a lot of work done today. So that was just one day. I've been doing this for a really long time. I think I just thought I'll just bring you guys today with me and see what we're doing. Look there at was, that. There was a little surprise for him as well in the camera. I did record you. What did you like? So, uh, did you? <laughs> I didn't know that. So until now, we have managed the patient's A, B, C. These vitals are all fine. Next, we want to go ahead and see what's happening inside the uterus. Okay. So now is the thing. So now we're already doing fundal massaging. While we're doing this, this is also an emergency case. So we can get one of the seniors to come and review. I think it's All right, good that's good. Issue. But for now, it's <laughs> discussing PPH. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna just cut it, call it a night. Uh, but the, the journey continues. Let's keep it going.